I am so sorry I missed your call. Please be kind enough to leave me a message and I'll be happy to call you back. Meanwhile, have a safe, blessed day. And please, don't forget to drink your water. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
say a prayer every night. Whatever I do, I'll get it right with no regret, no guilt, no shame. This time, no, not this time. Once I surrender, I won't dare look back. Cause if I do, I'll get off track. Move ahead in faith and patiently await your answer. What will it be? Sight beyond what I see. You know what's best for me. Prepare my mind, prepare my heart for whatever comes. I'm gonna be ready, strength to pass any, any test. I feel like I'm so blessed with you in control. I can't go wrong, cause I always know I'm Everything, but I still had you. You showed me your grace. Now my life's renewed, and I thank you. Yes, I thank you. So I'll tell anyone who listen. I'll testify about how good you were to me when so. Somebody so broke down So much 
expect that when you had a chance to look at this memorial folder, something happened to you. It's something about the way God has made us, I believe, that allows us to feel rich and deep feelings when our eyes behold an image of ours to go down memory lane. Let's do it together. Look at the memorial photo. There's a brightness in the eyes, a subtleness in the smile. We're gonna honor the memories of Charlotte Ann McDade. I wanna look up from you and say to you, family and friends and community members and well wishes and praying people, thank you. I'm gonna say it again, thank you. Because somebody said there's no way in the world I would have missed this day. Can you say amen? Amen. And I gave my word to a lovely lady that we're going to get an A grade and celebrate. Let's do something together. Free up your hands. Let's clap, clap, clap. Come on, let's clap. Thank you so much. The clapping of hands is one way to show appreciation and respect. It is an honor to serve alongside those who will say a few words, do something nice, and be extra gracious. I certainly want to thank the very fine folks here, funeral directors from the Angeles Funeral Home. I wanted to acknowledge uh, the presence of uh, Pastor Jonathan Mosley, who was a friend and a rather beloved and a servant in our community. Let the people say amen. amen. And we're going to hear one of those great old psalms of the church that speak to the Lord's faithfulness. It says, precious Lord, take my hand. Good afternoon to some and praise the Lord. Amen. It is a blessing, it is an honor, it is a privilege to stand before you to celebrate our sister, a mother, an auntie, and a friend. I just asked you to pray with me. I was just standing here thinking, I'm like, there's only two divas that can sing and cry at the same time. Uh, Ain't me. We're talking about Patty LaBelle and Fantasia. <laughs> but I'm just going to ask that you would pray with me as I sing. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me home, let me. I am tired, I am weak, I am old, through the storm, through the night, lead me home. Life 
is gone. Most gone. Here I cry. Oh Lord, oh Lord, please hear my call. Oh, my hand. Lest I, lest I fall. Take my hand. Precious Lord, and lead. I want you to lead me, Jesus. Lead me home. Hallelujah. somebody to do something and, yes. and do it with excellence, thank God for Sister Linda Smith. I found that the old folks used to have little sayings and sometimes they were captured in the lyrics of the song. How many of y'all remember them and say, have a little talk with Jesus and, and tell him all about your struggles. I said, he'll make it right, he'll answer by and by. Feel, feel a little prayer will turn. Know that the fire's burning. Just We'll talk with Jesus. Make it all right. Come on, let's do that now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege. You told us we ought always to pray. You told us, oh God, we could cast our cares upon you because you care for us. And we find you to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think. We're just asking, God, that you would open the windows of heaven and pour out a rich blessing upon these who are assembled, upon this one who is saying, Preacher, I don't know what the new normal is going to look yeah. like. And upon these who are saying, I need, I need the Lord every, every hour. I need him. Come on by here, God, and transform this sacred space into a sanctuary. Hallelujah. Where your glory is present. Yes. And then God, since you're a chain breaker and a way maker, I'm asking God that you would loose somebody and set them free. I'm asking that you would give somebody vision and purpose for a fabulous future in spite of the fact that our sister won't be here in the physical. Bless today, God, and surely we'll be blessed. And maybe so that somebody can say she's gone on to be with the Lord and she'll never be forgotten. In Jesus' name, amen. Hear the word of the Lord from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6, 7, and 8. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the righteous judge shall give me the day, not to me only, but unto all those that love his appearing. That's the word. Let the people say it. Amen. How about we just share together something that's familiar? I know we normally read the old in front of the new. But come on, let's share Psalm 23 together. Will you please? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, who I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Sometimes there's some popular songs that just capture uh, the sentiments of somebody that's feeling love in their heart. And when this program was lovingly prepared, this song was one that came to mind. The song says, Mama, you know I love you. Let the people say amen. Amen.
to share. Give her a hand, won't you? October 7, 1954, to Frank McDade and Emma Jean Johnson, whom preceded her in death. Stepmother, Almanac, who also preceded her in death. Charlotte was a middle child of her eight siblings. John D. Gigi preceded her in death. Wanda, Timothy, Edith and Pamela preceded her in death and Brother Trayvon. Charlotte was, an act, was, Charlotte was an active child in which her favorite pastime was singing and sports. She graduated from, she graduated a Shaw girl from Crenshaw High in 1972 and began to sing and travel the world with her group, The Sophisticates. This trio would go on for years entertaining the men and women of the Navy and the Air Force. In 1975, she met and married Theodore Gray. From that union would be born her sugar pudding, <laughs> Tiffany Ann Gray. All right. Charlotte loved her some Tiffany. <laughs> Anyone that knew her knew that she did not play about her baby girl, and she did not. <laughs> Charlotte would go on to marry three more times, Alberto, Michael, and Bobby. Let's just say she wouldn't let no grass grow up under her feet. <laughs> she was a loving, God-fearing woman that would tell you like it is. Anyone that knows Charlotte knew that she could talk and had no problem voicing her opinion, whether good or bad, but always with love. She leaves to mourn her passing her daughter, Tiffany Ann Coleman, Mr. Coleman, her siblings, John D., Wanda, Timothy, and Trayvon and his wife. Hold on, y'all. Okay. She has her nephews, Saki, Anthony, Damien and Jay. Her nieces, LaShawn, Shanine, Athena, Martine, and Miracle. Goddaughter, Letitia Austin, Mark Austin Sr., whom she adored. Her, her godgrandson, Mark Jr. Her extended family, sisters, Shorty, Beverly, and Linda. Her extended family, the Williams, and Griffiths, whom she loved dearly. She also leaves dozens of nieces and nephews, aunts, uncles, cousins, and relatives. That will be it. May God bless you all, and thank you for coming. Amen. It's been said, it's said well, that a picture is worth a thousand words, and I suspect that the images that have come forth now be good for our hearts. Let's enjoy them now. Thank you.
that. Meanwhile, have a very blessed day. Yeah. And please, don't forget to drink your water. <laughs>
the board right here. Uh, at Lawrence's memorial, but my kids just wouldn't allow me to do it. So I thought I'd go ahead and post it. And for those that don't have it, and really should purchase it. It is an amazing book. And this one's even more special to me because I got all the autographs. When I asked Mama Massengale to sign it, she said, Why do you want me to sign it, baby? I told Mama Massengale, There will be no book without you. <laughs> so she laughed about it and she said, You're right, baby. So I got her to sign it for me, too. Oh, my brother. So you might want to pick this book up. It is my most amazing book I have on my shelf. God bless everybody, and please keep your immune system on point, and don't forget to drink your water. God bless.
Anybody else want to share today? Thank you. I see your hand over there. Uh huh. Okay, good. With the exception of these on the first two rows, the others of you, I want you to rise and come forward, please. With the exception of these on the first two rows, the others of you, I want you to come down now, please. If you want to talk, don't wait. Come now, please. Come on down right here. Come on down right here. Don't put it off. All right. I see you. Thank you. Come on down. Thank you so much. Knowing that we do have two additional speakers, um, thank you so much, Pastor. Bless you, man. Now look here. We're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. Five tributes coming. Each of these are going to share from the abundance of their hearts. They deserve something. They deserve our attentiveness our kindness, and our encouragement. Let's encourage them by clapping their, our hands, won't you? One, two, three, four, and last. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I met Charlotte when we both worked at Citibank together, and what um, strikes me so 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 significant about her is that when I met her, we we instantly became friends, and I just knew that I would I would I would be friends with her for a very long time, and it worked out that way. We we were friends for many years, and um, I just want to say that she was a beautiful person and a, and a genuine person, and I miss her profoundly. Thank you. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Be honored to God. Amen. And I am here on this solemn occasion of Charlotte's passing. I've been knowing Charlotte since you know, early 70s. And I, uh, my name is Tyrone Tarvin. She used to call me T-Top all the time. Uh, <laughs> and when she get herself into should I say a little bit of trouble? She called me, and I help her out. However, it was, if it was swooping tail or, or, or letting people know who I was. Stay on set. I was a Los Angeles police officer for 38 and a half years. Amen. I retired as a lieutenant. Amen. And I'm a 50 degree black belt in martial arts, so I could kick some butt <laughs> when I had to. But the thing was, is that Charlotte would always call me. She wouldn't just call me for that. She called and fussed at me a little bit. And says, T-Top, you, you know, you got to drink your water. <laughs> she stayed with my water. And uh, she used to say, uh, 
Tyrone, you need to keep everything going like it's going. Keep it good. And she said, make sure you go to church too, son. Yeah. Wow. And uh, she and my, my little brother, Anthony, they were singers and uh, he used to sing with the Taste of Honey and he sang with uh, uh, quite a few other groups. And Shawnee used to sing around there too. Her best friend was Rita at the time. Yeah. And my little brother was going to Rita. But you know, that all evolved and evolved as they go. But I just came here just to honor Charlotte because she was a very dear person and a very close person. And she knew how to get me going. Cause she called me and started fussing at me, said a couple of choice words, and said, you don't know how to call nobody? <laughs> and I said, I know how to call you. She said, well, T-Top, you got my number. Call me. I said, okay. And uh, I used to call her and we would uh, talk. And if she had a problem, I'd give her the, so so the, the, the solution mm -hmm. to the problem. And then after that, you know, everything was good. <laughs> but I just came up to say, you know, that uh, she was a very dear person, a close person. I, I know the whole family. I used to come over to the house all the time when she was when, when we were young, and uh, we drink our Kool Aid on the on the porch. Yeah. And from there, we you know we talk, and everybody we all had fun. Mm -hmm. But like I. One thing I, I, she always told me, she said, you need to make sure you go to church too, Tyrone. I said, okay. Because I, I believe in, in the church. And I believe, I believe in, in the word where it says, let not your heart be troubled. Right. Yes. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Right. Or in my father's house are many mansions. Right. If it were not so, I would have told you. Right. I go to prepare a place. And he's prepared a place. Charlotte's there now, and the body's here, but the spirit is there. Amen. And one thing I learned a long time ago when I was a little kid, he used to tell us, don't put a period, don't put a question mark where God has put a period. So everything is right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Reverend Jonathan Mosley from the National Action Network, where Reverend Al Sharpton is the founder and president and the Western Regional Director from Texas all the way to the West Coast and trying to get to Hawaii. Charlotte um, uh, became, in our, I guess, in our last 10 years, uh, though we are graduates of Crenshaw High School and to all my fellow Cougars and to Pastor McKnight. Uh, it, uh, she was funny. She was, she was extremely funny because when she found out that I got into uh, social justice, she would send me every day something from YouTube, and I had to say, sharp, sharp, sharp. <laughs> Let me read one a day. <laughs> and she just would laugh and said, but did you read? I said, Charlotte, you sent me four. I haven't got to number two yet. Just let, let me get to one at a time. And it, it got to be to a point where I said, uh, are you sure your name is Charlotte McData or you Angela Davis? <laughs> but she would just break out into a laugh and then she'd go right into what the last YouTube that she sent, and I appreciated that. Um, she brought me some information. I thought I was astute and thought that I knew, and find out, found out that I didn't know as much as I thought I knew. And that would lead into an hour-long 
breakdown of every single question, statement, and I said, Charlotte, you know, we've been on the phone for at least an hour now, and uh, uh, I do have a job. Well, when you get off your job, you call me right back. And, and she was just such a, a, a joy to talk to when we had our ministry back in uh, the early 90s over on 8th Avenue and Vernon right across from A1 Burger. She would pop in and uh, she would always have encouraging words. I, I, was, I was really lost for words because I looked and scrolled down. You know, a lot of times when you get texts and emails and stuff like that, you just delete them and move on. But I didn't delete Charles. It's in my phone even right now. On June the 30th, she sent me a Happy Father's Day greeting. And then there's this long list I have to create a, uh, 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 her own special section, uh, you know, because I can't keep everything in there because my, my phone may just die. I don't, I don't need it to die. Uh, but it would just, I'm going to create her own individual mailbox. But I remember that being on June the 30th. Happy Father's Day. And then there's a listing of other messages. And then on July 31st, I sent her a message back. I'll call you back. I can't call you back, but I can call you forward. Because now, you didn't die, you transitioned. It's a difference in dying and a difference in transition. She moved from this earthly realm into a glorious realm with a glorious body. Amen. See you in the morning. Beautiful. Thank you, Pastor. I would just like to say that the last conversations that we had on the phone meant everything to me. I just, I wish we had more time. I ne nobody never knows when it's the last day for anything and everything. It just felt too soon, you know? Everything just felt too soon, like we just, When we was on the phone, she asked me what was about my life, what was going on. I told her, we was on the phone for hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the phone for hours, so the phone just started hanging up, <laughs> right? And I'm like, my auntie, she was like, are you drinking, are you drunk? I said, no, I'm not drunk. I'm just getting old, auntie, you know I remember. She was like, well, you asked me that question. I said, well, you know I don't remember. So it just fell out. I just, honestly, I thought we had more time. Yeah. You yeah. just never know. The time could be so short. Yeah. Yeah. I love my auntie, I adore her. And I just wanna tell everyone, if you, just reach out to your loved ones, check on them, you never know. This is was too soon for me. I'm not even finished with my mom. And I know her. My auntie and my mom up there partying with my auntie Edith. <laughs> I know they up there partying. Auntie Edith probably talking about, what? I've been waiting on y'all. <laughs> I love you, auntie. Please continue to look over your loved ones. We thank you all for your kindness for coming to our last tribute, and we thank you for your attentiveness and your respect. Let the people say amen. Amen. First of all, good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Well, I know Charlotte stayed here in California, but we 
my sister in wonder, we are the beginning of Charlotte. I bring you greetings from Fort Worth, Texas. <coughs> um, their mother was my sister. And um, I remember growing up, um, Charlotte and I was like this. <laughs> and Wanda and my sister who's sitting there in the front and behind, they were like that. So each one of them had their pick who they liked. <laughs> so um, I um, have to say that the family sends greetings to you, Tiffany. And you know that we love you, and we're hoping that you move back down where the rest of your family is. Uh, when we got the word that um, she had been in the hospital for a while, the family was saying, somebody needs to go see how she's doing. So being um, the oldest, the others have gone on the glory. Everybody said, you know, maybe you should go. Well, my sister in London that was planning on going, I said, nah, nah. And I said, well, I called my sister. I said, well, you know, I'm going to go. So I came to Las Vegas and um, went to the hospital to see her. And Tiffany's here to give um, the encounter that at the time she was not. Um, she was in the state that she was in at that time. So when we went to the hospital that Thursday, nobody but God, God is a good God. You hear what I'm saying? She had waken, woke up and Tiffany tell her, said to her, she said, Mom, she said, who is that? And she smiled, she said, that's my Aunt Sandy. <laughs> and uh, she was so happy to see me and I was happy to see her. And um, After that, coming home, um, keep in touch with Tiffany and whatever. We try not to bother her because we understood what she was going through. Yeah. But like I told Tiffany, we're here for her. And we're looking for her to come down and be with us. She has a lot of family in Texas. That's where Charlotte grew up. Uh, when her mother passed, um, they were little and um, her aunt Pinky, which was Frank's mom, mm -hmm. sent them to California. So from there, you all had her. <laughs> but we had her first. <laughs> so um, I wasn't gonna come, but I thought about it. I said, I need to be. Yeah. yeah. Need to be there. Right. And uh, thank God that I'm here. I thank God that I'm here because my niece, just everybody said the magic word when I call her, don't forget to drink your water. <laughs> and I'm, every time I leave a message, give me a call, give me a call. I knew something was wrong when she didn't return my call. But I give God the praise. Just one more minute, okay, and I'm, I'm gonna sit down. I, I want to. Uh, I miss those times when we were little kids. We played. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. And I thank God for her. She was a sweet. And if I have permission, um, singing is in our family, so but I, I'm thank you, Tiffany, to let me know that she sung too. I didn't know Charlotte could sing. <laughs> we got a lot of singers in our family. <laughs> One sitting with my sister there. Um, nieces and nephews, and uh, I'm so grateful. But for one moment, I want to leave this with you, Tiffany. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Amen. Because of who you are, we come to give you praise. Because of who you are, Lord, we lift our voice and sing. Lord, we worship you because of who you are. You are Jehovah Jireh. Thank God, Tiffany, he's going to be your provider. Jehovah Nisi, 
Lord, you reign victoriously. Jehovah Shammah, he's become our prince, our prince of peace. And Lord, we worship you. Because of who you are. Hallelujah. 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 Let the people say amen. 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 Thank God for being warm and fresh. First of all, I want to say this D house on mine. Ain't no Crenshaw Cougars up in here. It's Dorsey. Oh my, 95, what? We don't even like coleslaw. We whipped y'all every year in, in football. No, but my mom, she let me go to Crenshaw, but I did too much ditching, so she told me I had to go back to Dorsey. I thank you guys so much for coming out. I appreciate every one of you for calling me. Let's just say, you can call me, I'll answer. I know people say, I don't wanna bother you. Or I need to talk, I'm like her, I talk too much. So I need for you guys to call me. Um, this has been hard, um, being the only child. My friends and my family is my everything. Um, again, I love you guys so much for coming out. I couldn't have made it through the past 30 days without you. Please continue to pray for me, because I need it. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> I cried my whole lashes off. I need some more lashes. I got them in the car, though. I got the glue and everything. Ben's Blinks. Order them online. <sighs> um, again, thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys, and I love you so much. Oh, we're going to let off doves after the memorial, okay? So don't leave. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I'll let the people say amen. amen. All right. Uh, Tiffany just said that we have an appointment. We have a doves. The doves are coming at three thirty, and so we're going to make sure that we carry on properly and uh, be out there for that, which will be just beautiful. Uh, we do have something that's formal. I'm going to ask Mr. Williams, one of the fine funeral directors, here. Manager's funeral home to give us a sentiment expressed beautifully in a resolution. Amen. And let the people say amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor McKnight, and to Tiffany and the family, and to all of you who have come out to support this family and this celebration of life. Yeah. It's my privilege to read this resolution. To the family of Sister Charlotte McDade from the New Breed Christian Center. Fort Worth, Texas. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Hebrews 9, 27 and 28. Death is a door provided by a loving father by which his children are granted preserved passage from an earthly existence into an eternal habitation. It is the divine journey by which the weary travels down the roads of life and gains relief from the cares of this world. Amen. For the word of the Lord affirms, if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, yes. eternal in the heavens. Yes. Second Corinthians 5.1. Be it resolved that Senior Pastor Darrell W. Blair and the members of the New Breed Christian Center bow in humble submission to the divine purpose and providence of God being fully aware that death is but a transitory yes. moment yes. and through it comes eternal life. Yes. It is the avenue by which the believe rids themselves 
of the garment of mortality and is clothed with the glorified garment, divine tailored by the hand of God. New Breed Christian Center offers our continued prayers, love, support, and encouragement to our members, Sister Wanda Ruffin, Sister Lavora Johnson, and husband Deacon Robert Johnson, and to the host of family, friends, and loved ones of Sister Charlotte McDade, our help, heartfelt sympathy. Please excuse me. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, verses 28 through 31. May you be comforted in knowing that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. Amen. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, Amen. and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, yes. to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, Amen. both now and forever. Amen. 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 Lovingly and tenderly submitted this 11th day of December in the year of our Lord 2021 by the New Breed Christian Center, 4500 South Riverside Drive, Fort Worth, Texas. Amen. And this is Pastor Darrell W. Blair and church family. Thank you so much. Amen. Let us pray, gracious God, how we thank you for the richness of this experience, for the sincerity of the expressions, for the strength that has been on display from a lovely daughter, one who would give her last for just another little glimpse of a mother's love. God, today for these who would say, that's my sister, that's my loved one, that's a woman that made a difference in my life, that's a person that made my days better. Bless us and keep us. Give, oh God, a, a powerful, concentrated blessing for these few, few short minutes we have left. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 One of the things that I learned in talking with Tiffany about her mother was that her mother loved the Proverbs. And in one of those proverbs, in fact, the last one of the 31, there is a discussion about a woman. Yeah, when we think about women, we can use words, the ones of which are, are very familiar to us. We could say that she's a brilliant woman, she's a resourceful woman, she's a, a beautiful woman. All of those when words of women are nice. We think about the poet Maya Angelou who spoke about her. What kind of woman? Phenomenal woman. But the scripture talks about a virtuous woman. Right, right. And among the things that are in that Proverbs 31 passage you read it when you get home that are most appropriate today, as we honest, Charlotte Day's life is, is that her children will rise and call her blessed. In this case, we move from children to child and we say her child will arise and call her blessed. Can you say amen? Amen. 
Why bless, bless, because there was a model in our midst, one indeed who thought it not strange to leave people a little better than she found them. Can you say amen? amen. One who did not just sing but sang, Lord knows, uh, across these great United States and many places, helping others to be by her manner, by her methods, by her marvelous way of doing something that was special, doing something that had her whole self in. How many of y'all remember as kids we used to play that game, the hokey pokey? Yes. Oh, don't front like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, you put your right hand in your right hand out. You, you put your right hand in and you shake it all about to do the hokey pokey. You turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Well, after we do right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot, we say you put your what? Whole self in. And sometimes God will knit our lives together. The beautiful tapestry of humanity with somebody that leaves you saying she put her whole self in. She lived to the full. She was, can I say it like I feel it? Turned up. Amen. In the best sense of the term. No disrespect intended. But I know one thing. Sometimes God will bless you. And put somebody in your midst. That when you settle down and slow down, you'll say, you know what? I'm so glad to have that person in my life. I want to ask you please to consider some words to start with L. The folks are coming at 3.30. Are y'all praying with me? That was a tepid yes. I just need you to pray just a little bit so that we can have a word today. I want you to think about some words that start with L. I want you to think about how she lived. Would you say the word live? I want you to think about how she loved. Would you say the word love? I want you to think about her legacy. Say the word legacy. Legacy. I want you, there was a song by Al Green. It wasn't a church song, but some of y'all remember, remember Al, you, Al Green used to sing it sweet. He used to sing for the good time. Y'all remember? Huh? I want you to think about how she lived and how she loved her legacy and the times you laughed together with her. Can you say amen? Yeah. And then today, because she was a woman of virtue, I want you to ask what kind of lessons can we learn from the life that she lived. Story in the Gospel of Luke, the fifth chapter, and it says the disciples had gone fishing. They toiled all night long. Text says they had caught nothing. Can I say it like I feel? They had caught narrow fish. Narrow fish. Jesus comes on the scene, tells them to launch out into the deep. You're going to catch a whole bunch. They said, man, so we've been talking all lot. Haven't caught anything. Nevertheless, at thy word. Text goes on to say they did what the Lord asked them to do. And they caught a whole mess of fish. And then interesting detail in the story it says they called for the other folks on the other side of the lake. And they said, y'all come over here and help. But the detail that is beautiful is that they share the fish, the abundance of blessings. Why is it relevant today? Because the text reminds us of a dedication. Today we honor a woman that was dedicated, that made sure that she sold in to folks that she loved. Can you say amen? amen. The disciples were committed, uh, but alongside the word dedication is the word disappointment. Somebody here today is saying, Preacher, it don't seem fair. I needed a little more time. Can I ask you, if we had to determine when it was exactly the right time, wouldn't always somebody say, I need some more time? So maybe that's why the biblical text says we walk by, talk to me now, and not by. Can't always see it. The Isaiah, the prophet says, God's thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. Just like in the story, there was disappointment. They had been doing what they were dedicated to do, but they didn't have what they were looking for. Sometimes in life, you're going to have to cry some tears. You don't have to say, God, I can't figure you out, but I'm going to walk by faith. I'm going to trust you even when I can't figure you. Can you say amen? amen? Well, the text says that they did what the Lord asked them to do. And that's a decision that I'm going to ask each of you to make today. Amen. I know there are a lot of things that will disappoint you in life. And death is one. But do what God said. God said, y'all going out there, something good's going to happen. 
And that's just what happened. When the blessing did come, there was a sharing. May I ask you to ponder it publicly? Aren't you better because she was a part of your life? Can you say amen? Amen. So since she shared some of herself with you, here's three words. In honor of. Would you say it please? In honor of. In honor of your mother's life, your sister beloved. The woman that you love significantly. In honor of her life. Share some of the goodness that you have in you with somebody else. Amen. If I can help somebody, yeah, yeah. then my living not shall not be in vain. Amen. Go out in honor of a wonderful woman's life. Make somebody's life better. Amen. And then from the portals of glory, she can say, that's my family. That's my group right there, and I'm good and proud of them. Come on, let's clap our hands for our sister one more time. Come on. Someone earlier spoke to me about the necessity of knowing the Lord for yourself. And though we do have just a few minutes to be outside for the beautiful presentation, we got five more minutes. I want to ask you today to consider honestly, have you had a sincere talk with God? Huh? Don't let no preacher like me with problems. Don't let no mean missionaries. Don't let no do-wrong deacons. Or no problematic pastors. Stop you from getting to know the Lord. Can you say, I know that's right. I know that's right. So are you here? Are you here? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, command the blessing in this place that somebody's chains might be broken and somebody might be saying, I'm confessing with my mouth and I'm believing with my heart. And God has raised Jesus from the dead. Save me and fill me, God, today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands for the Lord Jesus. God bless you today. I'm so glad that we were able to do what it is that not only Tiffany needed us to do, but what the good folks here at the Angelus Funeral Home have orchestrated. We're going to prepare ourselves for the closing sentiment. There will be a song. We have some folks outside that are here to do a beautiful display uh, with the the doves. And so um, I'm going to ask that uh, Sister Williams comes and give us our final directive. Let the people say amen. Amen. decent and in order and on honor of the life of this young woman. We're going to go down the center aisle, starting with the family row, and uh, we'll do one row at a time. Just follow the directions of our director, Mr. Eric Turks. And we're going to all be on the, meet on the uh, south parking lot for the releasing of doves.
Fred, how you doing, brother? Good, man. Looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, may I kindly have your attention? Thank you so very much. Uh, as promised, we're going to experience a huge blessing. Uh, we have a lovely sister here who's got uh, some doves and a presentation to make. And uh, we're going to be delighted by what we experience. Uh, this is one of those things that has rich symbolism. And uh, we shall hear from her at this time. Thank you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning.
have an announcement that we would like to uh, make, please. Thank you. Before everybody leaves, I don't know if you like flowers, but please take a flower. I paid too much for those for them to sit and die. Represent my mom. Thank you guys so much for coming. I love you and I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, Tess. Beautiful. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. My heart's torn in pieces. It's my offering. Take me to the king. Truth is, I'm tired. Options are few I'm trying to pray But where are you? I'm all churched out Hurt and abused I can't fake what's left to do Come on. Truth I'm weak, no strength to fight, no tears to cry, even if I tried, but still my soul refuses to
<laughs> I love you. I love you. you your oh, mother. Beautiful. Oh, so I can get a picture with my niece. I couldn't have put it together. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. Mm. And thank you for blessing me with, with what oh, you blessed you me with. You already know. Yeah. Charlie taught me well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful. Anything you want to say as we part? I love you so much, Mr. Webb. You the GOAT. Thank yes. you for loving my mom and thank yes. you for putting that beautiful tribute together. Yeah, it was beautiful, wasn't it? I couldn't have done a better job. It was pleasure. beautiful. I love you, I love you too. Thank I'll you. see you back home. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that, Linda. Uh, I appreciate you making that introduction.